Hi, I'm Jade, and um, you've probably watched videos of me before where I'm talking about sexual transmutation. So that's how to transmute our sexual energy, how to take the sexual energy from being a horny filling in between our legs, how to bring it into our body, and how to use it for things like, for example, healing our cells, how to use it um, for creativity, how to use it to grow self-love and love, how to use it to even reach higher states of consciousness, enlightenment, and activate our pineal gland. So sexual energy is like a multi-purpose energy that we can use like literally for anything and absolutely yes we can use it and we can put it into our businesses and into our projects because our business businesses are basically our creative manifestation of ourselves so um uh, when we're creating a business, and especially if we want to use our sexual energy, it's a really good idea to make sure that inside ourselves and in our hearts, we're aligned with what we're doing. So by this, I mean feeling a real sense of passion and a love for what we're doing. So whatever it is, whether we're arranging flowers, whether we are um, you know, healing the world through acupuncture, whether we're, we're making furniture or you know, providing toilet paper to people to really feel a sense of connectedness about how important whatever it is that we're doing is. So, you know, if we're arranging flowers, that we really feel the connection with the beauty that we're giving to people through these flower arrangements, or even if it's, you know, for example, toilet paper delivering food or something that we really feel, um, you know, that the, the good results of what we're creating and we we feel that this you know in our heart and we feel passion for what we're doing okay so it's not just an act of boredom because when we're feeling the passion and the connection with it that's when we can start using using sexual transmutation so um uh so essentially if we talk about sexual transmutation um the way to bring the sexual energy from being a horny feeling in our genitals into our bodies is basically actually through relaxation and breathing. So um, it's important to have a look at what is actually your relationship with your sexual energy and your horny feeling. For example, if you feel horny, is that a feeling that, that bothers you? Is it something you feel like you need to take out of your body, get out of your body, like that you, you want to um, uh, masturbate or have sex quite quickly because you find that the feeling difficult or is it a feeling that you find that you're able to invite into your body is it something you feel more integrated with now a lot of people they have associations between sexual feelings and guilt and shame so for example if they're in the office and they feel horny it creates like a contradiction and they feel bad about it and I think that this is actually the cause of for example like sexual harassment in office places actually that people have got this um this disconnect with the true purpose of their sexual energy. And when we have a good relationship with our sexual energy, we're able to really relax our bodies and relax, especially the muscles around the groin and around the sexual organs, and we're, we're able to breathe. So when we're breathing and we're relaxed, the belly will rise and fall. So basically we can tell if someone is relaxed by the way they're breathing. So we can also relax ourselves by reprogramming our breathing so that we're breathing into our belly. This is a really, really important thing to learn how to do because it actually puts your body out of flight or fight and into relax and enjoy mode, which is where we're really able to be creative and our body can actually heal itself. So a lot of sickness is actually caused by being too much in flight or fight mode. So when we start to relax, what we can do is we can just simply use our intention to invite that horny feeling up into our bodies. Now in um, Tantra, we talk about the solar plexus chakra here, which is basically the house of our willpower. So um, we can invite the energy to come up here into the solar plexus chakra, which is really what gives us our creative drive. And it's what gives us the ability to manifest, including manifesting on a business level. We can also invite the energy into our livers. Um, th this is a useful powerful organ that can really help us manifesting in the physical realm and manifesting our creativity and our, our projects as well. So bringing this energy up, but of course we don't want it just to be stuck there. We want to, to use our intention and bring it into these these, this area around the thoracic diaphragm, but also invite it up into our hearts. Because as I said, um, having that connection with our hearts and that feeling of passion for what we're doing is so, so important um, in, in order to really be aligned and really be able to use the power of the sexual energy to create what we want. 
So um, it's very simple. Sex, sexual transmutation just means bringing the sexual energy into our bodies and in our bodies, it naturally transforms as it moves. So we don't need to worry that the that sexual energy is going to come and fill our bodies and we're going to end up oversexed. We just need to invite it up, invite it in. And, um, and then it really just does the magic on its own because the body's a bit like a machine that's just waiting for this energy to come, just like the same way it wait, waits for food and it waits for water. And then it can do the creativity and, and do the processes um, as long as we're allowing them. So absolutely breathing is the key. Relaxation is the key. And just conscious intention, aligning with our passion, aligning with our goals, and really bringing the energy into these energy centers and making sure they're nice and full, and that we're not also afraid of what we're trying to create, but that we're really, really in a sense of love with it. So thank you for watching today. Bye.